Hi, everyone. Thank you for those uh, that are joining us. Uh, I see some more people coming in along the way. I'm just going to introduce myself and uh, my panelists, if you can please also uh, share your screen and I'll be introducing you all soon. We're absolutely thrilled to have here today uh, to learn more about Bahrain Islamic Banks uh, and in partnership with Bahrain FinTech-based digital marketing um, program, Tech Minds of Tomorrow, uh, where you will need to develop a bespoke marketing automation uh, solution and hopefully get the opportunity to work with the ISP. So welcome everyone who's coming in as well. I'll introduce my name. My name is Susie Alzira and I'm the head of uh, communications and events for Bahrain FinTech Bay. Uh, just a little bit about Bahrain FinTech Bay in case you don't know much about us. We're a FinTech ecosystem and um, we, do, we do so many things in terms of a FinTech advisory. We do corporate incubation, acceleration. Um, we conduct research. Uh, we also do um, basically create awareness to our events. And why we're here today is to, we're extremely thrilled to get you more involved and to find out more about this program that BISP is launching partnership with Bahrain FinTech Bay. I'm super pleased uh, to also welcome my panelists shortly, but just before we go on to introducing everyone and starting with the actual, um, the actual, the, the actual description of the program and the, the questions, um, I'd just like to um, let you know, this is gonna be about a 30 minute aside from our side, talking about the program, and then we're gonna have plenty of time to answer your questions. So if you have any specific questions about the program, please feel free to put your question in the Q and A box. It's really important you put it in the Q and A box so we can get to it. And at the end, we'll get to the questions that you have as well. So welcome again. I'm super thrilled and pleased to uh, welcome from Bahrain Islamic Bank, uh, Mesa Shunar, who is the T Chief Digital Transformation Officer. Welcome, uh, Mesa. I also Hi, have... everybody. Hello, hello. Um, I also have with me uh, Mahmoud, uh, Mahmoud Khanati, who is the Chief Corporate Communications and Marketing Officer at the ISB. Hi, Mahmoud. Hello, hi. Hello, hello. And last but not least, we have our very own Better Sata, who's the head of business uh, development and acceleration programs at Bahrain FinTech Bay. Hi, Better. Hi, everyone. Well, it's super great to have you all here. I'm just going to start with uh, with getting a little bit off of you. If I can uh, ask you, Mesa, if you could let us know a little bit about uh, BISB's uh, recent initiatives and and in the FinTech space and 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 in general, why you decided to launch this program. Uh, so first of all, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So first of all, uh, just a little bit an overview of uh, Bahrain Islamic Bank, and particularly from the um, innovation uh, point of view, we are actually known to be that we are one of the most leading uh, and innovative uh, bank. As a matter of fact, we might be even in the region one of the first Islamic bank to be uh, to be known as innovative and also in the front uh, lead of uh, many advancement as far as, you know, the digitally released products and uh, that is um, uh, based on Sharia. And uh, obviously, because we are changing and because we want always to evolve, uh, we would like to know more about uh, uh, our customers, and that's why we thought about this particular program, which I would leave this uh, to my uh, colleague Mahmoud to talk about. But I just wanted to know that uh, this is actually goes with our this particular program and support for the Bahraini uh, innovators. It goes with our main pillars and our strategy and um, to, to support the Bahrainis uh, and the Bahrainis and of course to be innovators, uh, the startup mindset and um, what have you. So this is, I guess, um, uh, alongside our strategy and we are very pleased to kick off uh, this uh, leading competition. Thanks Mesa, we're, we're also thr super thrilled to be, to, to be helping you and organizing this. Mahmoud, I guess it comes down to you, back to you as well. Just if you could tell us a little bit um, you know, about this program in general, like what, what is it about, uh, Mahmoud? Can you tell us what is the core uh, of this program? Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you so much. I, I would like to thank everyone um, uh, who's attending this today. A special thanks to Bahrain Fintech Bay. Uh, I mean, you guys are playing a very vital role in, uh, in the economy and in boosting the adoption of, of uh, technology and, and fintech uh, uh, specifically, and uh, and we're very happy that we're doing this collaboration together. Um, so to take a step back, uh, I mean, uh, talking about the field of marketing, um, looking back 10, 15 years ago, when all the digital, or all the all the media that used to be there were were offline like newspapers and radio and stuff like that, and then we started to see things becoming more digital. 
uh, like social media and and um, um, uh, videos and YouTube and stuff like that. Now I think we are entering a third phase of of marketing innovation, which is um, a data driven marketing or performance marketing. And uh, uh, like Mesa said, you know we've been uh, going through our um, innovation journey. We started it a few years ago. Over the last few years, we've we've built the uh, the foundation. And we've built the basics. Um, so we're now uh, ready to take the journey to uh, one one notch higher. And um, what the what this platform is going to do is help the bank and its customers to uh, interact with the bank better. It will help us uh, understand the behaviors of the customers better uh, in order to, to, um, to solve and cater to their needs uh, in a better way. Um, there are so many marketing uh, automation platforms out there um, and the, the scope can be unlimited. Uh, obviously, we can, we, we need to. Uh, we are not intending to boil the ocean here, but we need to to walk before we we run. Um, so, um, uh, again, you know, uh, we're going to talk about uh, you know much more details later in the call. But I think this is you know more or less um, uh, where this is coming from. Thanks, Mahmoud. Better. I'm going to come to you now. In terms of like who who is eligible to apply for the program? I mean, what what are we what kinds of people are we looking for? Uh, from from background to age to to uh, eligibility in general. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean it's a good question. Um, I think you know we 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 spent a bit of time with the BISB two team trying to really carve out who we want this program to serve and who we really want to benefit out of the program. And I think our kind of main objective really is that this is going to be a Bahraini focused uh, program to kind of empower uh, locals and specifically more focused towards the youth. Uh, so we've put a, a general you know, um, criteria of uh, the applicants being uh, Bahraini applicants with an age between 18 to 40 uh, years. Uh, we're looking for teams to come in. Uh, so we're looking somewhere in the region between two to five people uh, per team uh, to join. And we, we, we need people who come from a, a, a marketing background or have extensive knowledge of the intricacies of, of how to run a, a, a marketing platform or market, marketing automation tool you know, effectively. Um, so we're looking for people with the, with, with the right energy, the, the right kind of uh, mentality who wants to actually come and create something new and uh, hopefully open up uh, a big opportunity uh, for them uh, to score a major, um, uh, you know, a major opportunity to work with one of the leading banks uh, in, in Bahrain as a fresh startup. Yeah, that's great. Mahmoud, I'm going to just ask you, so, so we had some questions in general. People ask, do I need to have like, what kinds of skills do I, in general do I need? Do I need to have programming skills? Um, what kinds of skills or do the candidates have to have in general? All right, so, so it, it really depends on, you know, the solution that uh, uh, they are going to propose. Now, as I said a few minutes ago, there are um, ready-made solutions out there in the market, you know, low-code and no-code solutions that are ready-made. I mean, a, a Bahraini startup can, can come and say, Mahmoud, okay, we have, we are su suggesting that you use this platform. It's going to automate your, uh, your SMS, your emails. Uh, it will create journeys for the customers once they land on the website. So it does ABC. So for, for this, you may or may not have any or may not need any uh, technology background. However, uh, I do understand today that there are many marketing agencies out there who are using platforms uh, like this. So, um, so if you are very tech savvy and you can, you want to develop this from scratch, absolutely, why not? But then uh, you need to fully understand the requirement um, to be able to do that. You know, a good way of doing that would be asking us, but another way would be to look at the available options in the market and see what do they do, and hence 
try to replicate. I'm, I'm not very keen on, on trying to uh, reinvent the wheel here. Uh, I'm, I'm saying there are many options out there. Uh, uh, they, they, they call them stacks. So you, you, could, you could stack up a few uh, low code solutions and then say, okay, uh, Mahmoud, Mesa, this is the combo that we're trying to, to provide to you because of ABC. Okay, thanks for clarifying that. Better, I um, just want to let us, if you can walk us through the program and just go over the overall structure and like how, do, how what is the actual process like from when I apply? Uh, by the way, we'll be putting the link to applications in the chat right now, but also you can find it on our website at uh, bahrainfintechbay.com. But better, if you can just walk us through the actual process of the and the structure of the program. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think the way that we looked at how we wanted to structure the program, we wanted to make sure that this wasn't a situation where uh, it was a program that was run in, you know, in isolation of, of, uh, of the bank or the corporate. We, BISP is very much very involved in the way that this program is running because at the end of the day, they will become an end customer to, to the program, uh, to the product that, that we're proposing. So the way that just to uh, kind of walk you through uh, what we're looking at, uh, we're going to keep applications open for approximately the next two weeks. Um, we haven't announced the date yet wh when it will be closed. But then after that, what will happen is the selected teams um, will, uh, and the winning teams or the selected teams that will participate in the program will work first of all in what we, or what we're calling like a boot camp um, uh, situation or a boot camp period of two weeks where they'll work directly with the, with the BFB, the, the FinTech Bay team where you're gonna get mentorship and, uh, and, and general coaching about how to start or how to set up your, your startup, how to set the foundations of what your team should look like, who, sh who sh you should bring on board, what kind of you know, uh, things you need to be thinking of when you're talking about your business plan or how you want to kind of tackle this area. And you know, this being said, we understand that a lot of people that may be applying might be applying from existing marketing agencies or, or existing uh, teams that are, that, that are in this space already, they're experienced and they, they don't necessarily aren't very fresh. But the idea behind this is how do you do it in the startup kind of mentality, which, which works best. So once we set that kind of first initial two week kind of bootcamp, then I think the, 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 inter, the the conversation is mostly going to be with the BISB team directly moving forward. So what happens was um, for the next three months afterwards, you'll be working very closely with the BISB team on building a proposal on how you would like the end product that you're pitching uh, to BISB to look like. So what I mean by that is we don't have we don't expect that the product is going to be ready to operate at the end of the at the end of the program. What we expect is at the end of the program to have spent considerable amount of time with the BISB team and with us to kind of draw out and outline how you'd like your end product to work, to function, to interact with each other, the screens how it will all kind of come together and what solutions you might be relying on as third party uh, solution providers or so on. Put it together and propose it uh, at the end of the program to BISB. And then at that point will be a selection, um, a selection process and the most suitable team uh, or the most suitable solution will be chosen then to continue, uh, continue the path with, uh, with, with BISB. To implement. Just to add a little more. Can you tell us a little bit more about the selection process, like exactly how when they apply, they what the application processes as well as the the the, the selection from that side. So I mean, primarily what we're looking for are you know is 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 a team that has the correct backgrounds in terms of marketing and some level of technical understanding on how to how will they be able to execute on the end product. And uh, again, uh, you know, they need to be Bahraini and they need to be, um, they, they need to fit those uh, men earlier mentioned uh, criteria. Uh, but then when we look at um, 
at the end of the program. So after those teams have been selected and they've gone through the program, then when there is a final selection, that will be done by uh, the BISB team. And that would be based on the merits of the proposed solution at the end. Do, is, does the solution fit the needs that uh, BISB has proposed? And is it, um, is it what they're looking for? And based out of that, the, the, the winning team would be the team that has uh, the best offering uh, yeah. over overall. And what they will, you know, at the end receive out of that is the opportunity to pitch this, or sorry, to yeah. uh, build the product and then build the product with a guarantee from BISB as a, as a customer yeah. uh, to, to that product. So which brings me to the next question with Mahmoud. I just want to ask you a little bit about the period that they spend with BISB after the, you know, the selection's gone through and they, they are incubated and they're chosen. What is the process like for the startup that's going through the, 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 the mentorship with you, with you yourselves after? So uh, it all starts with, you know, understanding the dynamics of, um, of uh, you know, what we do. Um, you know, how do we communicate with our customers? What's the frequency? What are the modes? And, and what are the, the because it, it doesn't mean that everything that we do today is manual. You know, most of them, most of the things are already automated, but they are happening in a, in a scattered manner. So, you know, understanding what are the platforms that are there, uh, uh, what's the capacities, what are the things that we would like to have, but we don't have, uh, looking at some best practices from uh, other markets. Um, uh, they may be banks, they, they may be other, um, you know, industries. So I think that, you know, short amount of time will help the, um, uh, the candidates uh, just understand the, the current situation. Uh, and, and it will also allow them time to ask the right questions, you know, ask lots of questions. Um, because, I mean, I may, I may think that I've said it all, but because that, that's what I do for a living, I, I might be just, you know, a, a cutting shortcuts or something like that. So I would like everyone to ask questions and try to understand, yeah. Yeah, so Mahmoud and Susie, uh, uh, everybody, let me just also put it in perspective. Maybe we should just give a little bit of a background. How are we actually moving and changing our strategy? And that also will complement what we are talking. And it's very also important for the people who or the teams who will be competing. So what we're doing is now we're trying to serve our customer the most. And by serving and creating customer engagement, we need to know more about customers our customers. And obviously marketing is um, a very important tool for us and function to get us to know more about the customer, not from just the internal info, you know, data, from the external sources. So we would like you know, the team or the, the people who will be working with us to understand fully what are we doing, what are we planning to do with this data? And where are we going with it? Because obviously we are running other programs and other initiatives. Um, to learn more about data, to support our products, to support our customer. And it's also worth mentioning that we also just partnered with the um, CBB Digital Bank. And uh, through that, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, CBB Digital Lab. And through that partnership, which is, I guess, it's called the FinTech Hub or Hub uh, 973. Nice yeah, and also we're running another challenge there. And also the challenge is all also about using artificial intelligence and data analytics. So, so what we're trying to say here is we are focusing on the data and the data analytics. And that's why, because we want to start, you know, this is extremely important uh, uh, vertical of the technology and we are stressing much on it. So, and that's why I thought to give some perspective about the participants yeah. or, you know, to understand where we're going with it and why it's very much important. Uh, and I think that's, and I think that's a very good point. That's a very, thanks Mesa for saying that because I think that you guys are doing a lot of fantastic work on that and you're incorporating your own transformation and, and starting and using startups and getting uh, the whole community involved, which is fantastic, both of both those challenges. Um, I, we have quite a few questions, actually. I don't know whether there's a better if I covered everything. I know that um, that one of the questions I don't know, Mahmoud, if you just want to clarify, because it was a question that's coming up a little bit more about what do they what what do that what what do they get from this program? When you say chance to work with BISP, how does can you just elaborate a little bit more on that? So, what do the okay. winners receive? Yeah. So, so let's assume this startup is fresh off the ground and has no customers, has no clients. So, BISP would be the would be the first client. 
will sign up a, a, a year-long contract uh, uh, during which um, the startup will be required to deliver the proposed uh, solution uh, as per the uh, the proposal, and um, and you know that will be um, uh, inshallah a success story for them and us to help them get more clients. And uh, you know this is a very young um, and uh, a new uh, uh, you know topic in Bahrain specifically. So I think it will help them grow and perhaps maybe become specialists in in, in that uh, type of uh, platforms. Yeah, absolutely. Better yeah, do you have anything? Just, just from a startup kind of point of view, yeah. right? How often do you, as, as a fresh startup, how often do you have an opportunity to get very insightful feedback mm. from a bank, right? Where the bank is giving you the opportunity and the time to kind of showing, show, show you what's under the hood, how, how, what the questions they have or what, how they want to operate. And then at the same time, they're giving you the opportunity to add a bank as a customer, right? So I think that's a huge opportunity. And if you are, if you're, you know, if you look at the opportunity there, um, that 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 can serve as a very good catapult for you to then take your product that you've built, and then look at different, uh, you know, different applications for it or different customers. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. I think I'm going to jump to the questions. There's quite a few. Um, I've got one from Mahesh here, who's uh, recently joined uh, the sixth cycle of Flat Six Labs, and they're going to be incorporated in Bahrain in the next month, and hopefully be based here as well soon. But they said we're there, they were not Bahraini nationals, nor physically in Bahrain yet. Are we eligible to take up the challenge? I'll leave that to whoever, to anyone on the floor. Yeah, better you want to go? Yeah, so... Um... So under the guidelines that we've kind of set out, I think there's a priority right now is to service uh, to service Bahrainis and to give Bahrainis this 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 uh, opportunity. Um, that doesn't differ from the fact that you can apply for you know you can apply to the program. Um, however, most likely uh, it will not support your support your case in the selection. Uh, uh, selection criteria, unless there was something which you know the you know the the, the panel felt you know was very compelling about about taking a non a non Bahraini. Uh, but in short, I mean, you can apply, but uh, the preference will always go towards uh, local Bahrainis. Okay, Th thanks for answering that, better. Um, so uh, somebody's asked as well, uh, it's an anonymous attendee. Do you know which features you would like in place for this, or would you like the agency team to present them? present you like do you have it and it kind of goes with Hanar I see your question as well would it be possible to share a detailed project proposal scope of work brief with the participants before um I guess maybe or some more yeah. information in terms of like what would you like them to present you know is there anything okay. or, yeah yeah so uh, if you look at the you know what would a marketing automation platform uh, you know what it would do. Uh, it can service uh, three different pillars. So the first one is uh, automation of of uh, publishing communication. So uh, uh, so uh, let let's just call it publishing, which means uh, I can schedule uh, social media posts. I can schedule SMSs. I can schedule emails and stuff like that. Right. So it's all about scheduling and drafting so that I don't have to, you know, go on and, and post manually and remember I have to do this at this time. So it's all automated. So that's all under publishing. The second one is. Is called uh, a, a journey creation, which uh, which which means so if someone uh, lands on uh, BISB website uh, and then it, it, you know it leaves the website and then he receives an, an email saying you know uh, you were interested in this how can we help you so it, it's kind of a, a journey creation using different platforms like you know I would send him an SMS now then an email and then uh, it would also help in remarketing so when he leaves, and he accepts the cookies, obviously, of the website. Then he will he will be remarketed and stuff like that. The last uh, pillar is uh, social media listening, 
So, you know, uh, if we want to go like full fledged, then the platform will also help in reporting. See, reporting is important, but then the reporting can also become very advanced. Like, you know, if anyone even sitting in, in Canada right now writes BISB or writes Tijuri, you know, the, the system would capture that and tells me, okay, here is Mahmoud, here is your report. Here's your 1 p.m. report that, that this many people mentioned BISB, this many of them were positive, this many of them were negative, so sentiment analysis and things like that. Yeah. Uh, yes, it would be GDPR compliant. Uh, I, would, I just answered uh, Hanan. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and are you Hanan's on it? Maybe jump yeah. jump in because I saw a couple of other questions say, that were around yeah. uh, around uh, around uh, Bahrainis and if it needs to be the whole team or not. So look, yeah. what we are saying here is that applicants um, where there is a predominantly Bahraini team would be looked at more favorably, right? But we're not saying that if there is a Bahrain, if there if there are non Bahrainis in the team that we will not consider. Uh, consider the application. I would, you know, strongly recommend if your team, if it's a mix between Bahrainis and non-Bahrainis, or um, to 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 apply to the program, right, and give yourself the opportunity to get reviewed, um, and then from that, I think you know we can you know move forward. And I think that at the end of the day, it will be, um, you know, what what we're looking for out of this program is to to do a program which which has impact and um, and as long as you know there is that Bahraini element to it then I think that every application will be reviewed and 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 uh, and be considered absolutely, absolutely. thanks better well, I have Hassan Sheikh here who's, who's got a comment as well as I guess it leads into a kind of question he said I think it's great to see big organizations willing to work with smaller players or there's a merit to gaining experience I would assume there would also be commercial terms um, they, I, would, I guess nobody's asking how much but they're assuming are there commercial terms? I mean, I think we can answer that to that. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, the commercial terms would be a contract, right? Like Better said, um, you know, we will sign a contract with whoever proposes the best contract. And uh, there's going to be a financial, uh, you know, um, reward against that. It's not going to be like, you know, we're, we're taking this platform for free or anything like that. No, it's going to be a proper agreement. Uh, we, we will be their first customer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, part of that, I mean, just to clarify, again, again, to reiterate what Mahmoud is saying, you're, you're pitching for a contract. So, you know, part of the proposal that you will be building in the incubation process will have a proper, you know, um, proper financials attached to it. So it's not that it's just about I'm picking the, my favorite solution. No, it's I'm picking my favorite solution that comes at the right price that makes sense. And, you know, throughout the process, obviously, you can bounce some ideas with BISB to have a feel about what it is kind of the range that they're looking for, depending on what the solution can offer and so on. But it's not like you're building it for free. And at the same time, it's not like, uh, you know, there's a one kind of set um, size of the contract. It really depends on how, um, how powerful, how much value you can create from the solution that you're developing. Thanks, Bader. I think that I hope that answers the anonymous attendees question as well about funding. I guess that makes that make that answers also the question is that, you know, of course, there is, you know, it's a matter of uh, your your proposal and you actually what you you uh, what you what you your, you actually um, pitch in and what your pitches are like. Like, so I think, you know, I, on so far, I think wait, this is there one more question. No, I think we've done that. Um, I don't know if anybody else has any questions. I think this has been a great session in terms of like, you know, I know there were a lot of questions online and I appreciate some of you have joined today that had questions online. We just said join the webinar. But if there are any other questions, you know, and you don't want to answer them now, you can contact us at info at bahrainfintechbake.com on the website, the same, um, the same mailing list that you added you, this webinar to. So, and just get in touch with us. And if you have anything else, I mean, it doesn't hurt. Like just if you apply, I know there's a lot of considerations, but if you, like you said, if you're Bahraini or you've got the idea, you know, you are not got nothing to lose if you apply. And, and if this is, you, have, you have something there, just do it. So we're looking forward to getting your applications. And to those of you who have applied and wanted to hear more about it, we're also really excited to, 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 to meet you and to get involved and to see your uh, solutions. Um, I don't know if you have any last words, Mesa or Mahmoud. 
No, I mean, very excited and uh, hopefully we're, uh, we'll have good uh, uh, teams uh, to work with, really. We're very excited for that. Yes, we're really excited too. We can't wait to meet all of you guys that are signing up and getting into this pro uh, project. Thanks, Mahmoud, and thanks, Mesa. Thanks, Vera, as well, for sharing your time today. Um, Thank you good luck. So much. Thanks, good luck. everyone.